Tak ahoj, vítajte na kanáli For Organ Fun. Dnes sa nachádzam v Lichtensteinsku, malom mestečku Šán, kde sídli centrála Hilti, ktorá si pre nás influencerov z celého sveta pripravila unboxing event, ktorý sa tu koná od 24. do 27. októbra. Si budeme môcť influenceri z celého sveta pripraviť obsah pre svojich divákov. Pripravili pre nás množstvo stanovísk s rôznymi strojmi, náradiami, ale aj s potrebným materiálom, boli sme sa pozrieť aj vo výrobnej hale v Rakúsku. No a pre vás, pre divákov, si budeme môcť pripraviť obsah. Samozrejme, na rade nám predvedú, ale taktiež si ho budeme môcť vyskúšať podľa svojich predstav a taktiež mu dať poriadny záhu, či už pri rezaní, vrtaní, brúsení, ale aj búraní. Na centrále Hilti absolútne netušia, aké zvieratá pozvali na test ich náradia z Českej republiky. Je tu Jirko z Ústeho Vercajku a kanál For Organ Fun, takže poďme na to. The Honorary Chairman of the Board of Directors. We are very welcome also on my side, from my family side, from the Board of Directors and all the HFTT members worldwide. It's a great pleasure and honor that you are here. To let you know you're okay. <laughs> we have a lot of people not okay. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, we'll get started. Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming out. I'm incredibly excited to talk to you today about Neuron Batteries. In 2022, Kilti launched Neuron with the bold ambition of having all tools, light, medium, and heavy duty, all on one platform. Since launch, the feedback from our contractors has been nothing short of great. They tell us that Neuron simplifies their life and allows them to just focus on getting the job done. Now, None of that is possible without great high-performing batteries, and Neuron delivers on three things. First, we deliver effortless simplicity by having all tools on one platform. You don't need to have different chargers and different batteries. Second, we, we offer, we convert power-hungry applications like corded and gas to cordless. And then third, we bring leapfrog new features that help protect users like SenseTech as well as deliver actionable insights like data-driven services and cloud connectivity. So Thanks, John. And yeah, durability, durability doesn't stop at the interface. You also look that all the drive chain is durable as well. And if you think about grinding metal, so all the air has some metal chips on, but a high-performing drive also needs some cooling. And yeah, we, we seek in the, the air through the tool over the motor. And the good thing is, with our motor, it's an outer cooling motor, so all the air is going not through the motor, it's going outside. So, no sticking of rotor, because no metal chips in the rotor which can stick there and bring it to the rocking. And this is one of the great things of the outer cooling motor. And therefore, we have two outer cooling motors, a smaller one for angle grind applications and a larger one. And this is quite unique because it's not only outer cooled, it also has with this over mold a quite powerful heat transfer so that we can put all this energy we get out of the batteries and the interface into the tool and the application. So yesterday you already experienced T2000 and the DSH cutter and therefore we have this high power motor with this outer cooling, no dust inside and a high performance. And I think now we yeah. head over to... So let's, let's talk about our demos here really quick. So we have three demos before you leave today if you want to have some hands on. So first, we talk a lot about the interface, and so we brought competitive interfaces so you can get hands-on to touch and feel a little bit the difference between what we do with Neuron and what's common in the industry. Second, Holger has some of the motors that you can come and touch and feel, as well as a cutaway tool. But now we're gonna talk a little bit about the magic and the experiment that we discussed. So we are going to show you what it looks like to transfer power from a battery to a tool to perform an application. And to do that, my friend Bern set up an experiment. So Bern, what, what did you bring for us today? Yeah, I bring with me a small experiment to show the difference of our interface to that what competition is doing. The first step of our, of our experiment is to show you a current drain simulating uh, power tools like this, with screwdrivers, area, and so on. 
Okay, so, so if, you, if you come over here, we have the Hilti interface yeah, on the left. Come on. And the competitive interface on the right. If you want a bigger view, you can actually see it up on the screen. So this camera is transmitting. Touch. I didn't touch. I didn't touch. I promised not to touch. Yeah. <laughs> it's transmitting what we're doing on the screen up to uh, up to the screen. Oh, sorry, it transmits yeah. what we do up to the so screen. So now we have connected these interfaces together that the same current drains over all contacts of the interfaces. And now we start the experiment with the 20 amps. Okay, the experiment is starting. So at 20 amps, the reason we chose 20 amps and the reason Burn has an SF tool is this is a standard light duty application. So if you're out drilling with screws, you're drilling holes, sorry, you're fastening with screws, or you're drilling holes, 20 amps is about the amount of energy transfer that you would expect from a battery to the tool to perform the application. What you can see on the screen, it's hard to see in person, what you can see on the screen is the heat development. And currently, industry standards at about 32 degrees Celsius, where the neuron interface is about 28. What do you think about that, Bert? That's perfect. For both? So far, so good. So, so yeah, competition, competition can do the same as we. Now, what so happens if we turn it up? Yeah. So then the next step is coming to higher applications like AD grinders or rotary hammers. Then I increase the current from 20 to 40 amps now. So we're going to double up the current. And what you see here again, just to make it really clear, this is the Hilti neuron interface. This is the industry standard interface. And when I tell you the numbers that we're using, here's our, here's our measurement in Celsius, right? So you can, you can see here now that burn, it looks like at 40 amps, we're almost to a 15 degree difference already. Is that okay? Wow, it's okay. Still okay. This is still okay. But what if we get more power? Yes. To, to realize all of the platform, as Tom explained before, we can also cover heavy applications. These kind of tools like T50 or AD grind, big AD grinders or DHAs, they need much more. They need 70 amps. So John, I increase the current go to, to 70. 70. So now what we're going to see over the next 20 seconds is the interface on the right is going to heat up. The Hilti neuron interface is going to stay relatively cooler. To be clear, neither one of these you'd want to touch at the moment. So coming up to 90 degrees, how many amps are we doing again, Burns? 70. 70 amps. Okay, so let's watch what happens here in another couple seconds. You can see here now the right-hand side is getting very hot. The left-hand side is staying cool. And we'll stop the, we'll stop the experiment. And John, we need to stop at 120 degrees C. Why do we stop at 120? We stop at 120 because the contact spring relax and we have not the contact force as before. Yep. And this is the beginning of the end of an interface. So there's a few reasons why we chose 70 amps. So first of all, it mimics the amount of current that you have in a heavy duty application. Second, if you noticed, once the competitive interface was at 120 degrees Celsius, the neuron interface was still at 70 degrees Celsius, allowing it to stay much cooler, so it's much durable for much longer. What that also means is new cell, as new cell technologies mature, we'll be able to take full advantage of the power to deliver even more power with, with future generations of neurons. Hi, welcome to Drilling into Wood and Steel. My name is Stefan, Global Product Manager for Hilti, a technology called Active Torque Control, which shuts off the tool when the tool detects that it's in a bind-up situation. With the Neuron SF10W, we bring you the strongest pistol grip drill driver in the industry with 95 Newton meters of soft joint torque. The emphasis is on soft joint because that's the actual torque you're receiving when you're finishing your heavy duty wood drilling or screw driving jobs up to two times faster than all of the drill drivers on the market. Which means off of one battery charge, you can drill up to 78 holes, 65 millimeter into three layers of OSB. Okay.
pripraviť sa, pozor, start. Přepni trojku. Yes, um, today we are going to destroy saw blades. So be careful, ear protection is going to be loud, eye protection, there might be teeth flying around. What I'm going to show you first is our Hilti SE6ML in combination with an industry benchmark blade. So I put on uh, a new one on this saw. And then let's do two cuts and see what happens. Ah, you can see a little bit of burr already, the, the surface is getting wobbly. But let's try a second cut. Again, a lot of burr, but now let's look at the saw blade. Most of the teeth are gone. And we told you this is a really, really, really yeah, tough yeah. application. Yeah? <laughs> That's what we meant by that. Now let's try uh, <laughs> our SC6ML in combination with our X-Cup tin plate. Uh, uh, again, I was too lazy and I, I left the plate from the last group, group on there, but it's not new, but Good enough, let's try if it's still working. Look at the cut surface, no burrs. You can use that immediately without uh, deburring.
But to be fair, let's also do a second cut. This is the direct comparison. <laughs> Now let's look at the saw teeth. Not new anymore, but it can do many more cuts. Takže vítám vás na kanále Hilty. Máme tady další poměřování pindíku těchto dvou známých influencerů ve střední Evropě. Jsou to opravdový dňáblové. Včera totálně odrovnali marketingový ředitelé pro celý svět. Samozřejmě svými dotazy, nebyl v tom žádný alkohol. Tak můžeme závodit tedy, je to tady, je to tady. Tak vypadá to, že Honzík bude vést 2-0. I když Jirka to možná zvrátí. A je to tady, jedna jedna. Tak teď už jdou opravdu nevím, kdo ho má delšího kluce. Já.
There are quite a lot of applications where you sometimes need to region a tight spot. Not often, not always, but if you need, then it's the Ještě jednou, ať tam máš, ať ti tam mám celý ten stroj. Prostu vyvadí ta ergonomia prepínača, pravého a lavého chodu. A já bych mluvil do konkrét. Já bych mluvil do konkrét. A now what I want to show you is how this tool uh, really it's important because torque matters. And if we under torque or over torque an anchor application, it can have critical influence on the load capacity of the base plate and also on safety uh, topics. And of course, if something is done wrong, then we need to rework. So what we have here is this model <coughs> that simply uh, that makes it super, super simple for everyone to use it. What I do is just, I just start the tool <coughs> and then I scan the box of the anchor that I'm utilizing. I push this button here. It recognizes what is the anchor that I'm utilizing. I block the function and I'm ready to go. I'm going to show you how to install with this technology versus the traditional technology. So that layer will install two anchors there and I will install two anchors here with the new <coughs> technology, okay? So, are you ready to go? I'm ready. So one, two, and three. Now I just need to green, it's done. Green, it's done, and you can set all your anchors one after the other with the right torque every time. On top of that, <coughs> while well, we see Leo finishing there, <laughs> thank you. I skipped the second anchor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what we also do is that if we remove the battery, you can see how this model also comes out super easily. And every time we have new anchors that are added to this platform, you simply need to just upload the software connecting a USB cable to your computer and then the model will get the new families of anchors that are available for this technology. And today it also works already with a lot of our anchor families. We have some examples here that you can come later and test by yourselves if you want to create some content there. First you need to set the anchor. Just push the button. That, that's to replace the hammering. <laughs> now you are installing this anchor here, right? So what you do is that you go to this setting and you push the scanning, you scan the box and it's already recognizing what anchor is. You lock it and now you push until you see the green light. Rover it, don't stop, always. green light and you see that the torque is set correct uh -huh. cool already recognize it it's a it's a chemical anchor and now I, let me see if there is a loose here i just go here 
Dan. Dan. And you can do it just non-stop. So you have your application done. It's really nice, fast, simple, and it saves a lot of time. Please move back again. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> we have to move. <laughs> yeah. So before doing one cut, I just want to highlight some of the features of the tool. The first thing that you will notice is that the blade is fully guarded. This means that the safety is increased. We are only having the opening of the material you want to cut, which you can adjust thanks to the mounted Allen key on the tool. So with this Allen key, you can adjust the cutting width. And with the same Allen key, you can remove the blade guard and also change the blade. And because in the job site, things get loose, we have designed the cover to hold the screws. So that way, when you are changing the blade, you will never get a screw. Up. Now, let's do one cut. Mm -hmm. And the thing that you need to consider when you are doing a cut is, here we have a guiding edge. This you need to put in the rebar and this will help you to do a perpendicular cut. Second is you position the tool without the blade touching the river, you will activate the tool, and then you need to push. The tool will not go by itself like a traditional angle grinder that you let it work. You need to make some effort to go forward. And as a reference for a diameter 25 millimeters, you can do the cut in less than four seconds. So I will now do the cut. Maybe you can come this way so you have a better view. What three seconds? This is the one that I do. I'll touch it.
Robert's here to help demonstrate the course. Ano, máš to čisté, můžeš mít kotvič. Ano, ano. This is actually 5.5 kilos full body weight, yeah? It's hard, the next exoskeleton would probably help. Yeah! Good. So basically, I will ask for earplugs. We will have plenty more time for hands-on when you come back later. Yeah. Tam bejt na tom videu? Tam je kabel, jsem koukal, leží. A ještě si musí zastrčit kabel.
Cože? Tam Aha. Tak a máme tu záver trojdňovej návštevy v Šáne Lichtensteinsku v Hilti, kde sme strojom zo série Nuron dali poriadne zabrať. Bohužiaľ, batériový systém Nuron sa rozrastol tak, že nebola šanca vyskúšať všetky stroje, ktoré boli pre nás pripravené na mnoho stanoviskách. Vyskúšali sme len tie niektoré, ktoré nás naozaj zaujímali, ktoré boli heavy duty, či už na dve alebo jednu batériu Nuron. Taktiež sme sa dozvedeli o top secret projektoch, o ktorých samozrejme musíme mlčať a budú uvedené na trh už čoskoro. Batériový systém sa rozrastá raketovým tempom a Nuronu od Hilti držím palce. No a ja dúfam, že sa vám návšteva v Hilti v Šáne páčila. Ak áno, daj like, potvrď odbera zvonček alebo sa pripoj k členstvu, kde nájdeš kopec extra recenzií naviac. Ahoj!